Hi guys and welcome to your September 2019. This is going to be what aren't they telling you or what they aren't telling you. Same thing. Four, <laughs> the beautiful sign of Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Taurus, I am looking in your cards and this person isn't telling you a lot. I guess that's the purpose of this. Um, it's interesting that right now in Virgo season, when I was doing some research, you guys were being guided to get your flirt on. And flirt is at your bottom of the deck energy. So for some of you guys, um, you know, I normally, I'm not going to say cater to couples, but normally, I find that a lot of my readings resonate with people who have been in long-term relationships or connecting with someone on a long-term basis. I feel this way too about this one, but this has been too serious between you um, and this person. And um, in the month of September, especially through the 1st through the 15th or any time during this month while Virgo is in full swing, especially with Venus entering into Virgo pretty soon. If I'm not mistaken, I did let you guys know everything right now. Look, go look in the community tab. I'll let you know what was going to happen when Venus entered each of your signs. But Venus is going to be entering Virgo, if I'm not mistaken, on the 14th. But right now, the sun is in Virgo. Mercury is in Virgo. Um, so we are full-blown in Virgo. Okay, so um, that is an Earth sign. As you guys know, in Taurus, that is your fixed Earth. And Virgo is mutable Earth. So you are being guided to get your flirt on. Whether that's with the person that you you have been crushing on for a while or that's with your person, that's what you're being guided to do. Let's get started. So crowning this particular reading is honeymoon. And that's interesting that they're not telling you that this is what they're waiting on you to do. I feel like they want you to just get, get it out already. Say what you got to say. You know what I'm saying? Say it. That's what I keep hearing. I see express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Um, if this has been a connection that's been going on for a while, it's taken the turn. I'm getting new, fresh energy with you guys, Tauruses. Um, and I'm hoping that after a period of separation, the, if, if last month's um, energy resonated with you, then this is a different group of Tauruses or not. Also, calling in your soulmate, okay? So your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. This I can see being a brand new version of in uh, of a um, relationship, um, or the starts of that same relationship kicked up a notch and taken more seriously. Okay, um, let's talk about the peak of the past before I get these out. So yes, yeah, so in the peak of, in the peak of the past, there was not this. This was not. It was unrequited love here, and there was just not enough chemistry to keep this going. Keep it going to the level that it should have been. And the tower moment happened, okay? Um, I don't see you guys in tower moment right now, which means that has already taken place, okay? Tower moment has passed. Right now, in Virgo season, all of the bad stuff that has taken place is over with, and there's going to be some mending of fences. Now, with Taurus, um, yes. Yes, you guys are being guided to really get and kickstart your relationship. So um, what your person isn't telling you is, yes, I didn't take this seriously in the past. I didn't. It wasn't to me enough chemistry to keep it going. And, I, you know, I, I maybe I didn't trust you, Taurus. You know, uh, the situation was calling for your partner or the person, this person to have faith when it came down to a successful relationship, Taurus. And I just don't think that they did that. And then finally, they were being guided in the past to keep an open mind. So um, because you were different, you're, you're listen, 
Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. You came and brought something different to the party and it was new and radical for them. And they were like, wait, what? And I feel like, Taurus, because you brought something else to the table, they were afraid. You scared them. But you didn't scare them in a way that should have been scary. You scared them into challenging them to have an open mind. So, Taurus, I feel like this person that you are connecting with has very strong... Because I, I see right here in the bottom of the deck that they're being guided to let go of control issues. Um, they are um, maybe a strong personality, hard to... Uh, very hard to convince. Maybe they have ideals. Um, um, you know, a, a lot of ideas about how things were supposed to go and you came in and shattered the ceiling instantly. It was like, oh, that's what you think? Let's do this. And that fixed mentality and the fact that you came in willing to make sacrifices so like just came busting through the door. They was like, whoa, you scared? I really do see this now. And they were being guided to have faith because there was still something about you that was just so steady, though. In that stubbornness came this resilience that they looked at you and was like, wow, let's find out. Show me, spirit. What isn't Taurus's partner letting them know? Devil. Here we go. Now, yeah, um, this is Capricorn energy, but... This is what they're dealing with and they're not telling you. And yes, yes, Ten of Pentacles. You know, I'm looking at this. Just, just let me get a couple more cards here because I see where we're going. You know, they can't let go of control issues on certain things. Tell, show me, Spirit. What is it Taurus's partner letting them know? They are deeply convicted to their ideas of things. And they've had to do a complete 360. I feel like there is a tower moment. There was something here. Show me, Spirit. Thank you. Yes, it left some sadness, some hurt feelings are here in this. Um, wow. So, honeymoon, express your love and calling in your soulmate. They, they're not telling you that this is what they want. They do want to marry you, Taurus. There is a, let's just get it over with already. What are we waiting on type of energy? Show me, spirit. What is isn't Taurus's uh, Taurus <clears throat> partner telling them? So there is, thank you. Yes, see, look at that with the six of wands. One more card and I'm putting this together because I'm seeing... You know what, Taurus? You came in and you shattered the ceiling. Yes, look at that, the two of cups. Okay, so I'm, I'm seeing it now. I'm seeing it. You came in with radical thoughts. You came in standing very firm on what you thought. You came in right out the gate expressing your love for this person. You came in right out the gate and you fell in love first because you knew what you wanted, right? Yes. Let's bring this peak of the past energy back here. You came and knew exactly what you wanted, and they did not. They did not know what was wanted. Look at this. Yes, yes. They've had issues with setting boundaries with the Knight of Swords. There has been things that have been said to uh, you guys have exchanged words. They have not liked the way you communicated. There has been bite, backbiting. Maybe this person has some type of moon. Um, there's some fire somewhere. We're looking at earth, strong earth here. Can, uh, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio is in here with the five and the two. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then we have strong earth, okay? Taurus. So you're showing up. You're showing up and you're reading for their emotions, which means that they appreciate that about you. And then you came in yielding this sort of truth off the rip. You have shown them how trustworthy you could be already. You came in the door. You knew exactly this person is, I feel like a little bit more mutable. They didn't know. And they don't know how to tell you this. 
They don't know how to tell you that there wasn't enough, enough. It, it wasn't that they didn't connect with you, Taurus. It was that they just didn't feel the way you felt at the time. There was attraction and chemistry, but you knew what you wanted right away. And in the past, they didn't. So they said some things this night of sorts. There were some words exchanged. There were some things. They came at you with this knight of swords energy, and you came right back at them with this queen of swords energy. Like, oh, 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 I'm blocking you. Block, I'm not dealing with this. And there were some words exchanged. This is this person that you're connecting with, Taurus. You guys go back and forth, and I feel like you overpower them verbally as well. Um, they were being guided to keep an open mind, and they were conflicted about that. They put people in you guys' business, they ran their mouth. There's something very special about this person, absolutely. But they have issues, and they were not, they, they're not coming from the same place that you're coming with. Well, that you're coming from. And also, at the bottom of the deck energy, I see this. And this is a big issue. We have this Knight of Wands energy, and we have this Seven of Cups. This person possibly sees you as, I'm just going to put it out there. I think a large part of this connection is the fact that someone wants to, someone doesn't love themselves, first of all. There is an insecurity here. And this energy right here lets me know that someone is pretending. I'm actually very shocked that I don't see the, um, the Seven of Swords here. Um... There could be a lot going on with this Knight of Wands, which is supposedly the playboy of the deck. He's definitely a hothead and the options. A person, and then I see flirt. A person likes to appear that they want to keep options open, but in actuality, they refuse to let go of control and what supports that is of you. So I'm looking at the Empress. Taurus, this is your card. This person wants this entire beautiful life with you, okay? They want the entire beautiful life with you. They refuse to let go of control issues. They see, they see this right here, and they don't know why they're sad. They see these three cards. We got the Two of Cups, we got the Ten of Pentacles, and then we have, look at that, that beautiful Six of Wands. They see this success with you. They see this happy, beautiful life with you. They either feel like you have options or they have options. They, I, I, you know, I'm going to put it to you both ways, and that's the Five of Cups, which means that there are some hurt feelings. There's some sadness because they're not being honest. With this Knight of Wands energy here, with this flirt and love yourself first, honestly, and I see these two cards supporting that, this here is what this person feels like they have to do. There is a very insecure energy here that you are connecting with, Taurus. And honestly, you came into the game, into this relationship, laying down roots off the rip. Like, coming in, like, this is what it is. And this person admires that about you because they're not like that. They are much too, and there's nothing wrong with being different. But they would, I, I, I feel when I see this Knight of Wands and I see this Love Yourself First, I really do feel like they admire the fact that you got a million and one people flirting with you. And honestly, it really doesn't support, I think the two cards support each other. You have a million and one people flirting with you. You have a million and one um, uh, things that you can go for. You have all of this temptation, and yet, although they have an issue with respecting themselves, you came in and saw something in them. And right from the beginning, you let them know, and you stay true. And I think that to, to, to them, that is very admirable. I really don't feel like there is cheating involved in this. If some of you guys want to look at these two cards and this flirt and love yourself first as what they've done with other people and what they're not telling, I don't think so. 
I think that this person is just an individual who lacks, especially with love yourself first and let go of control issues. This person wants you, but wants to, to appear that they're keeping their options open. They want to flirt, but they want to come home to you. I, 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 I get this very all over the place type of energy. I showed you what they want and how they see a success, but this devil is preventing this situation from moving the way that it needs to move. And that is the problem. They can't allow the situation to unfold naturally and let go of these control issues. And that they wanted to control the way this situation went. And that lied the problem. That was the problem here. Um, so what they're not telling you is, is that they know that you have options. And they know how beautiful you are to other people. And they've tried so hard to control every aspect of it where they just wear themselves out and end up making themselves angry because you stand firm and yes you know you have been um you have been honest and true taurus um you have you you have the ability just like them you have the ability just like them you have the same amount of temptation the same blood that pumps through your veins but i think what happened what happened here is is that they don't have that within themselves so they are kind of projecting their issues on to you because they just don't understand how you can be so fixed this person that you are connecting with is, is a control freak but i don't uh, can be controlling because they're insecure and they just don't want to lose you okay so remember this is what they want Ten of, Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. They want you guys to, to come together and build an empire. They really do want this honeymoon. They but but they're they're waiting on something. They 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 they're afraid to step into their truth. But I'm telling you that the truth of the matter is is that they're holding on so tight because they just simply don't want to lose you. And unfortunately, it comes out as control. But they don't want you to feel like that. And they don't want to tell you that they're afraid that somebody better is going to come along. And that's just the bottom line. So, wow. Wow. They want so much to be with you. They really do. Wow, Taurus. This is beautiful. There's going to be a conversation that you guys have. Okay? A quick conclusion fast communication going back and forth or back and forth communication that's also cupid's arrows this situation is going to unfold this is what you may be experiencing from the first to the 15th when i come back and give it to you at the end of the month if this is the same scenario we'll see how it unfolds and there is my queen of pentacles and that is exactly what they think you are more earth energy and what you are so we have um, more energy out here of the you know venusian energy or earth energy because you know venus rules libra and taurus and then we have that queen of pentacles you have come in and nurtured the hell out of this situation and they need that in their lives okay like share subscribe to the marvelous tribe i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here so i can get to the next zodiac sign drop it like hot in those comments let me know how you're feeling about it and i'm gonna leave you with this image and i will see you at the end of the month bow bye